Hi everyone, this is formula.com and in this video tutorial, in part one we're going to show you how to start a live chat conversation with yourself as if you were the visitor on your own website and of course how to respond to that visitor from the agent dashboard inside of formula.com and in part two we're going to do a deep dive into the real-time visitor monitoring from the dashboard so you can see all the sorts of information that formula will show you about the visitors on your website and while you're chatting with them. So we'll get into that in part two. In this example, what you're looking at here is a test website built through Weebly, weebly.com. Uh, we have an app for that, which I've used to install Formula Live Chat software. And you'll see the button in the bottom right corner here, chat with us by default. Uh, we do support every website platform for the most part. Many of them we have an app or a plugin for, so it makes it really easy to get started. Um, if we do not have your platform listed, all you really need to do is sign up for an account at formula.com and copy and paste the chat script into your website pages. We can help you with that. Just do reach out if you have any troubles. But for the sake of this tutorial, what I've done is just simply install the Weebly Formula Live Chat app. And this button in the bottom right as a default can actually be moved to the bottom left. Of course, the color can be modified. The text here doesn't really need to say chat with us. That's just a default. I'm going to click in and open the widget on my website here. And what you'll see is a couple of fields that I've added. These are again configurable. I've added a first name, last name, and an email field. They're all optional for the sake of this tutorial. So all I need to do is start a chat here. And let's say I'm a visitor on my own website and I need to say something like, hello, I need to know. I'm going to hit enter. You can also click this little send icon. And if you hear that beeping sound, it's telling me as an agent logged into the dashboard that I have an incoming chat message. And I just clicked it here. You can see a couple of tests I've already run. In this test, you can see that I've opened the chat and it says, hello, I need some help. Now I'm on the agent dashboard. You'll notice my agent name is Zach. And what I can do here is respond, hi there. Of course, how can I help you today? And if I hit enter, or click this little return icon, the message is sent to the visitor. Now, if I go back to the visitor side, you can see that the message has come through. Hi there, of course, how can I help you today? And that's it. So as soon as you have the Formula Live Chat app or software installed to your website, be sure to give it a quick test, just like I showed you how, and you should be good to go. On to part two of this demo. And in this part, we're going to go through the agent dashboard some more, uh, talk about the real-time visitor monitoring feature, along with the other pieces of information that Formula gives you uh, on the agent dashboard. Um, as you can see here, we're still on the test website from part one, where we started a live chat conversation with ourselves, just to mimic what it would be like for a visitor on our website to start a chat through the chat window here. So now that we're done with part one, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this chat and switch over to my other browser tab where you see the agent dashboard now. This is where you're going to spend most of your time chatting with customers on your website. So you want to make sure you're on the dashboard here. Uh, you'll hear sounds and alerts depending on your settings here. By default, sound will be played for new messages. Also on this web dashboard, you're going to hear sounds for new visitors. Now that might get a little annoying if you have a lot more volume where you're hearing a sound for every time a visitor arrives on your website. If you don't like that sound, you can just simply uncheck this box to disable that. And you can enable desktop notifications, which will show a little pop-up widget in the top right corner, depending on the browser you're using. Usually Chrome, Firefox, and Safari are compatible with desktop notifications. So that's how you configure your alerts in the bottom left corner. Um, as you saw in part one, when a chat comes in from a visitor, it'll come in here under this live chat tab. And if you select it, it'll show in the center pane here. So you see what website page that user initiated the chat. And in this case, since no information was provided by that user, you just see that it's a guest user number one. Since this chat conversation has already ended, I'm just gonna go back to my visitors here in the top left and this is where Formula will show you how many active visitors we see on your website. So 
right now, since it's just me hitting a test website, there's only one visitor and that's myself. And what you see in the center pane when you go to the visitors, you'll see them one row at a time here. If you select this, this data changes. This is like additional information for the visitor. But starting from the left-hand side here, you can see that this visitor is in the United States using a Macintosh and Google Chrome version 70 for a browser. Um, it's a returning visitor instead of a new one. Since I've been to this test website before, it notices that I've been here before, so it says returning, and this visitor has been on the website for 12 minutes now. The page URL here is the page that the user is on. If you mouse over it, it'll show you the full URL, just like that. And whenever you see a ref, this is the referring source URL. So if that traffic came from Google or Facebook and they clicked over a link to your website, if we detect a referring source like this, it'll show up. Otherwise, you won't even see any URL underneath the page. Um, in, the, in the right column here, chat status, most of your anonymous visitors or any visitors will have no chat status. As soon as they're in a chat or declined the chat, or in this case, ended a chat, you'll see something here notifying you what state that visitor is in. And then as long as they're not in a chat, you can actually request a chat manually. If you click this link, you can modify the default message, enter something that's more uh, relevant to that user's page. For example, if they're on the checkout page, maybe you can say something like, hi, I noticed you're on the checkout page. Did you need any help purchasing? Something like that. And you just click send and that message will go to the visitor on the uh, on your website. Since I'm not going to go into that here, I'm just going to hit cancel. So that's the center pane information. And again, when you're in a chat or when you select the visitor row, you'll see the right rail here, which gives you a little bit more information. Similar as you saw in the center, the page viewed here is contact. You'll also see other pages that they saw bottom up. So if they came to your home page, then went to your about page, and now they're looking at the contact page, you'll see them all appear here. Again, the referring source URL is listed here. The country, the region, San Diego, California, which is where I'm located, it's detecting. Uh, and if you scroll down, the IP address, again, the Mac, Chrome, and even the screen resolution of the visitor. So sometimes if you're wondering if they're on mobile or, or desktop, you'll see if they're using Safari or Chrome or what resolution their device is. Um, and in the case you get a visitor that's kind of being a nuisance, you can even block them by their IP address. What that does is in the future, if they visit the website, um, it'll actually hide the chat so they can't start a conversation with you. One last thing I'll cover here. So when you're in a chat and let's say, in this case, since it's an anonymous visitor, uh, let's say you collect information from that customer, such as their name or their email or their phone. If you notice this quick edit link here, you can add that information email, first name, last name, and phone in this quick edit pop-up once you collect it and then save it. And what that'll do is add the information to the chat record so that if you ever go to your conversation history, you can uh, see who that was, the conversation you had with them, and so on. So hopefully that gives you a good overview of the visitor monitoring dashboard, how to chat with customers, and kind of the different uh, data that's available to you when you're on the dashboard. Uh, if you need anything, obviously uh, reach out to us at support at formula.com and hope you found that useful. Thank you.